Venom. Let's check it out. For all you action and sci-fi fans, this is a must-see. The film follows journalist Eddie Brock trying to take down Carlton Drake and the Life Foundation. During the investigation, Eddie accidentally merges with the alien Venom, leaving him with superhuman strength and power. Jenny Slate gives her take on how unique this type of movie is. It has a little bit of everything, and for movies that are, are based off of comic books, uh, I don't really know that I know another movie that's been like this one before, which is really, really exciting. Although some fans had trouble with the subpar plot, it's easy to get past if you can appreciate the special effects and action-packed scenes. Director Ruben Flesher talks about their focus on action and showcasing the specific powers of Venom. So we definitely were interested in having pretty amazing stunts and, and also stunts unique to the powers that Venom has. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of incorporating them, we always wanted them to come from character and be a part of character. And so that's why I'm really actually very proud of the apartment scene because it's a unique fight sequence in that this guy doesn't even really know what he's doing. He's almost being puppeteered as the fighting's happening. He's, you know, tossing guys across the room and Eddie himself is apologizing because he doesn't know what's happening because Venom is the one ultimately doing it. And so as, uh, as he's knocking somebody down, he's apologizing, oh my God, did I hurt you? I'm so sorry. And meanwhile, his arm's flying out and tossing another guy through the wall. Um, and so I just thought that was like, A, just super funny, you know, comedically, but also just really visual and unique. I love this movie, and it's a solid four out of five stars. If and when you see this movie, don't forget to stay for both post credit scenes. Artist of the Year Taylor Swift has just become the most decorated female artist in AMA history, but that's not why everyone is talking about her. Earlier this week, Swift broke her political silence to announce her support for the Democrats on an Instagram post. During her acceptance speech for Artist of the Year, Swift thanked her fans for voting for her and went on to get political by saying, voted for the people, you know what else is voted on by the people, before telling fans to get out and vote at the midterm elections.